Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to our second masterclass of Limitless. Thank you so much for joining me, whether you join me live or on the replay. Who here was here for the live yesterday? Or did you catch the replay? <laughs> Love it. Raise hands. Love it. <sighs> Love it. Well, a huge welcome back. Let me know in the comments in the chat if you need the replay page. We'll get that over to you. Just pop replay in the chat and then if you need it, we'll... Uh, We'll uh, sort that out. I'm just going to open up the chat so I can see any comments as they come in. There we go. Welcome everybody on Facebook. Welcome everybody on the replay. So we'd love to know what are your insights that you've had so far? Pop those in the chat. Today we're diving into the six energetic blocks that can slow down your success and how your Nervous can nervous system can start to feel safe so you can allow more in and overcome hidden self-worth blocks so you can upgrade your, your net wealth. So we've got a deep session for you today. And if you are joining live or on the replay, then you know that you have an opportunity to be have your name thrown into our prize draw we're going to be doing our prize draw in our eighth session so there's plenty of time to take part and you can um, have your name put into the draw when you share your takeaways share your actions in the comments when you share that you are taking part in the in, in the master class so you're invited to perhaps post on your personal wall if it feels aligned to do so saying that you're taking part in this master class Share what your inspirations are. You may well help somebody to be inspired. And of course, if they come and uh, join us in the group, you'll have a, another um, addition um, or your name going into, the, into the, the drawer as well. So when we see that you've shared, we'll pop your name into the drawer. And then, of course, if someone comes and joins, um, we always invite them to say how, how they find us. So we'll pop your name into the drawer there as, as well. Um, so thank you so much to everybody who has shared so far as well. And you are names going into a draw. You can win a business force casting session in the Cash It Records with me. And then we've got some incredible activations that you can win as well. All righty. So let's dive into this. So I just invite you to take a moment just to become fully present so that you can really focus on your time together. Allow yourself to receive everything that we've got for you today. So just invite you to give yourself a couple of letting go breaths, so just breathing in for four, breathing out for four, really allowing yourself to land here and to consider what's your intention for this masterclass this week that we have together. how these masterclasses are contributing to your overall evolution. Inviting you to think about the revenue, your desires for what you want to create over the next 90 days. And to think on a scale of one to 10, how expansive and aligned to your intentions are you feeling right now? Just take a moment to become aware. Let me know in the chat. Are you a, are you a one? Are you a 10? Are you a nine? And then just to think, how do you want to feel at the end of our, our time together today? Oh, huge insights coming through. This is so exciting. As I said yesterday as well, I will read all the comments. If I don't kind of get to speak to them all whilst we're live together, then just know that I will I will see them as I circle back away to, to read them. So are you ready to discover how these energetic blocks might be bubbling up for you and how they relate for you? Relate to you. Give me a I'm ready in the chat or in the comments. Just open this up so 
comments got stuck on Facebook. Let's see if I can see them again there. Oh, there we go. I'm getting ready. 1 a.m. in Sydney. Well, thank you for being here live. <laughs> That's incredible. I'm getting ready for your financial, getting rid of your financial blocks. Yes. Alrighty. So we have got a workbook for you. Um, and this is all laid out in the, in the workbook for you. So um, I'm going to ask the team to, to pop the workbook in the chat and in the Facebook group, if that is possible. We're going to be sharing with you the Helix Method today. So the Helix Method is a world-class energy psychology modality rooted in science and spirituality. And we are Within the Helix Method, we combine cognitive interventions and energy healing with somatic techniques. All of this influences your human Wi-Fi. We incorporate principles from psychology, pranic healing, psychic healing, EAM, EFT, kinesiology, epigenetics, metaphysics, and channel guidance from the Akashic Records. And what's unique within the Helix Method is we balance the deep inner healing work alongside impactful manifestation rituals. So you really expand your consciousness and elevate your vibrational attraction point. It truly works. And within the guide that we've just shared with you, this includes six of the energetic blocks that are slowing down your next level of success and a step-by-step -step guide of how we can use one of our methodologies that we use within the Helix Method. So we've got that all laid out for you. And I'm going to take you through that today as well. And what I've noticed is that over the past seven years that I've grown my business to multiple six, six figures and helping thousands of entrepreneurs to sex, successfully break through their money ceiling and working with many six and seven figure earners is that whenever I'm working with an entrepreneur, if there is some stickiness in the growth, it always comes down to the energetic alignment first. And what I found is it's these blocks that I'm gonna share with you today that are stopping anyone from growing their business and they will come up for you along your journey. So I'm gonna guide you through these now. We're gonna find out which ones are, are impacting you right now. So you're gonna be using one of our psycho psych energy psychology techniques within the Helix Method. Does that sound good? And the key thing to be aware of is that each of these six blocks, they're interconnected and they hold a complex cluster of energies and beliefs, patterns, emotions, frequencies. These blocks slow down sales, cash flow, and our marketing being impactful as well. So when you have a methodology to heal these blocks and to find out what is, you know, what's hidden, because that's the thing, we have these blind spots, then you, you won't be held back. You can actually financially relax about making and receiving and holding and circulating money. So let's dive into this and start to uncover this. So the first block that I wanted to talk about is, I, I call this a resonance rift. So this is where we have, we were talking about inner conflicts yesterday, but this is where we have inner conflict between our levels of consciousness. So our higher self, our true self, desires certain experiences and seeks out fulfillment of, of our life purpose. And where there is a resonance rift, this is where our higher self is, is out of resonance with our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. So if we're disconnected from our higher self, we haven't got the, the energetic support of our higher self for manifesting. So what we want to create is this coherence with um, our higher self, our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. And when we have that coherence, it brings you into resonance with your desires so much more quickly. So that's our first one. Then we have the somatic default set points. So we all have physiological, psychological and energetic default set points across all aspects of our identity, including our self-image, our self-worth, our deservingness, our emotions, all the things. And the neural pathways act as an internal reference point. These, think of these as set points, that they create your glass ceiling, they stop you from increasing your client base, making more sales, manifesting more money, allowing more fun in, more joy in. So many entrepreneurs, we have a joy cap, we won't allow more fun in and more joy in, more love in, all the things, and so on. And our brains and our bodies get addicted to our default set points and the emotions that we feel at those set points and 
And as with addiction, we'll get these withdrawals from those set points and energetically get pulled back so that we get to experience them again in our reality, so that we get to feel those emotions, chemical interactions again, even though we're like, oh my God, why have I cre recreated this again? And I see this so often when clients come to me how, and they show me how their default set points have been creating their realities, where they may have perhaps, so see what resonates for you may have allowed in more money and then yet magically lost time with their family. So they kind of traded allowing in more in one area by not having enough in another area. And we spoke about fears of burnout yesterday and fears of working harder, where we may have done that before. That was our, our experience due to, due to our set points. So to change our set points, we need to change and embody our identity. And as we change our consciousness and who we are, we change the consciousness of ourselves. This will impact our DNA. In each DNA strand is, is a double helix. There's a reason why we call it the helix method. All of this impacts our consciousness, our physical body, our DNA. So we need to embody the identity of our future self. And so this is where our current identity can actually become a block because we create our reality through our identity. And so our identity becomes the block when we're trying to create an, a new reality, but just with our current identity, we haven't upgraded ourselves. So our identity that creates the paradigms, the self-concepts that create the beliefs and our emotions, feelings, all of this inform our behavior and our action. And then we have an experience and then this all feeds back to reinforce our identity. And so together they're creating our reality. So our six figure self, our seven figure self is going to require a new identity for, for our next level. We're going to require an upgrade. Becoming an investor requires a new identity. Becoming a business owner that has sold their business a new identity. So just giving you these examples, you can see that there's a different set of self-concepts that are important at these different upgrades to our identity. So when we need to create solutions to our current experiences from a different level of consciousness, a different identity to then be able to experience that next level. So to create a different reality we need to be the identity of the version of us who's already experiencing the reality that we desire so this is why i talk about creating the consciousness of our our future self then our fourth one is the nervous system pinnacle so what i mean here is our nervous system has a capacity of what it will allow in before the fight flight freeze and collapse protective systems are triggered so the threshold of our nervous system capacity is, is that pinnacle. And our current reality of visibility, marketing, sales, cash flow, savings, investing, spending is the pinnacle of our nervous system's capacity. That makes sense. And I mentioned yesterday how our nervous systems can get triggered by big windfalls of income growth where we can feel overexcited, just so overexcited. And then our nervous system interprets that as nervousness and that can trigger that flight response. So there's some nuances around how, as our businesses grow and patterns of anxiety of, I haven't got enough from growing to that first six figures that can bubble up, then becomes anxiety of what if it's all gonna go away? What if it vanishes? Now I have to be responsible for team members. Our levels of responsibility grow as our money grows. What if the team members cost me money? So we can have anxiety with us all the way when our nervous system is at capacity. It's just going to look a bit different with what we're saying to ourselves in our head and what we're starting to worry about and feeling anxious about. But when we increase our capacity of our nervous system by healing the hidden emotions, beliefs, traumas, memories and experiences, and we calibrate to a new level of alignment for success when we do that. So this is work is really, really deep to being able to allow ourselves to expand our capacity to to receive more, to have the success that we desire. 
And then the fifth one we have is energetic. I call this energetic buffering. So you have heard me talk about our human Wi-Fi. And of course, we know we have 12 layers of the aura within the human Wi-Fi, 88,000 chakras, 12 main meridians, eight extra meridians, spiritual lines of connections, grids, and you know all, all the things, so much more. And all of this needs to be flowing for us to be at our peak performance. And these energy channels and vortices get blocked up with stress energies, with thoughts, different shapes of energies, such as cords and attachments, what's going on in the collective energy, you know, just to name but a few. So all of this is going on within our bioenergy field, in our human Wi-Fi. And our higher self-consciousness, our head, our heart, our hara, our manifesting hub, which is just below our belly button, all of this is sending out electromagnetic signals to the universe. And when our energetic signal, signal is incongruent due to the reversed and resistant energy in our field, then I invite you to think of your signal as buffering, it's not optimized. I've got a wonky signal, can't quite, you know when the Wi-Fi goes, the, 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 the internet Wi-Fi goes, and you can't quite hear when someone's speaking. So I invite you to think about that's the kind of what's happening in your energy field. You're sort of sending out the signal and the universe is going, I can't quite hear what you're saying. <laughs> you're buffering. But when we clear our energy field of re reversed and resistant energies, then we create more coherence and we, we change the, our energetic field. We, we've healed and we've got a stronger, coherent human Wi-Fi signal that we're sending out where we can really allow our energetic vibration to do the to do the heavy lifting for us. Then the sixth one is, this is when I call this strategic dissonance. So this is when we are applying a strategy that is misaligned for our business and who we are. Perhaps the strategy is out of alignment with our identity and where we want to go. If we just, for example, had a 100K a year business, we're not going to be aligned with implementing a million dollar a year strategy because our consciousness is wired for that 100K and our feelings and our bodies calibrated to that 100K. And so the strategy we choose can become the block. Our financial investment options can become the block. The business model can become the block. As can, of course, you know, our skills in implementing the different strategies, audience growth strategies, increasing conversions from marketing, creating sales um, from the offers that we have, streamlining the sales process. And there's so many things that go into the into these pieces. And of course, you know, we can feel that we're in alignment with the strategy when we start, and then it can be we realized that actually there was some resistance that was bubbling up. The subconscious was, was keeping us safe. There was an inner conflict going on that we were just kind of ignoring and we implemented the strategy anyway. How we do, the energy that we're in when we take action is, is really, really key. And one of the things, um, you know, as I look back along my own journey, I remember when I was running um, a Facebook ads uh, strategy, which was fresh out of the gate, it was the first thing I did. So I tested all my messaging on Facebook ads, which is a very expensive way to test your messaging. That's what we we're being coached on. And whilst it eventually worked and momentum started to build, then the Facebook ad market changed and ads that used to target and offer high quality community members coming into your world suddenly lost its pre precision. So all the costs went right up. The numbers weren't, you know, weren't coming in. And people who just weren't aligned with what I was talking about were coming in. And so the conversions went right down. And, you know, I wasn't the only one affected at that time. It cost entrepreneurs like myself a lot of money at that time. So the thing was there, I had strategic dissonance because I was out of alignment with the strategy that I was applying. I hadn't upgraded my identity at that point, And it created a whole bunch of energy reversals and contractions. So I was trying to solve the, the problem with my same level of consciousness that had created the problem by implementing a strategy that my business just wasn't ready for. So that's why I love organic marketing so much better. But, you know, until your business is at a certain level and you have the financial resources to invest without a return for a while, which happens in Facebook ads, then that, that's a, an appropriate strategy for a more mature business. There's a time delay with that strategy. 
So when we, this is so key because when we raise our frequency to our future self-consciousness and follow the intuitive guidance that comes through from our higher self and take the aligned action, of course, alongside developing our skills, you know, and being a CEO for our company, then our implementation of strategies is just simply more effective and we're more likely to apply the, the right ones for, for our businesses at that's the stage that they're at. So these are the six energetic blocks that slow down impactful marketing, sales and cash flow, being able to hold money, growing money for entrepreneurs. And when you heal these blocks alongside our impactful manifesting rituals, you will grow to that, that next six figures with more ease, with more flow, with more harmony, more peace. And there are, of course, so many layers default patterns, beliefs, emotions, nuances that appear at different levels of businesses, which is what I dive into deeply when I'm working with my clients. And we dive into this in, in one of my programs, The Wealth Portal, which I'll talk about later this week. And you're going to experience this today. So I'm going to show you how you can co-create with the energy of money with our Helix Method Manifesting Ritual. So we're going to do this together. So I'd love to know, I'm seeing some familiar faces here, some new faces here. Who has done um, helixing with me before? You could let me know in the comments. So what we do is we activate and create a, a clear pathway between our different levels of consciousness, our higher self, our conscious mind and subconscious. All righty, we've got a mixture. Some people it's the first time, some people you've done it before. Alrighty, so I'm going to guide you through. You've got the step-by-step -step guide as well so that you can go back to it. And of course, you can revisit the replay as well. So what we do is we activate and clear the pathway between our different levels of consciousness with our higher self-invocation. We then use energy kinesiology or muscle testing to find out where is the block? What is hiding in our energy field? What does our subconscious not want us to find out? And we use the sway technique, which is where you use your body as a, as a dousing device, essentially, as it really helps you to connect with your body and to feel the somatic responses and the energetic responses from your subconscious in this way when you do it. Then once we know what the block is, we're going to release it, transmute the energy around it, get rid of any resistant energy or reversed energy, and then bring you into coherence with, with our aligned um, imprinting. And then we wrap this all up by having raised our frequency in this way by, and I call this bit, living in the energy of the question, which is what we're effectively doing is we're asking our higher self a question as if we've already experienced it. So we're like, how did this happen? So the energy behind the question is like one of awe, one of curiosity, one of wonder. We're not kind of trying to fix it and problem solve it. Does that make sense? You'll get to experience it in a, se in a second. Alrighty, are you ready? So let's do the higher self invocation to, together. I've got it in your workbook and I'm going to pop it on the screen here for you as well. Alrighty, so for this, I'm going to invite you to bring your attention to your soul star chakra, which is about 18 inches above your head. This is your gateway to your Akashic record. And we're going to increase your life force energy through breath. So what I want you to do is to breathe in for four, to hold for four, and to breathe out for eight, and just to do that at your own pace three times. And to affirm to yourself, I'll say this out loud so you can just allow the words to land or you can repeat it. Speaking to all levels of my consciousness, I intend that in the name of divine truth, love and light, let all information come from my higher self and be in alignment with my divine truth for my highest good and the highest good of all. I'm creating a clear channel of communication, manifestation between my subconscious conscious and higher self so that they are a hundred percent connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose thank you thank you thank you all righty 
So now I invite you to muscle test or energy test with the sway test. So to do this, you stand with your feet hip, hip width apart. And I invite you just to relax your knees and you close your eyes. And you're going to ask a series of questions. And I've got the series of questions on the on the next slide and they're in the in the um, in the workbook. If you've never done muscle testing before, what I invite you to do is just to ask some baseline questions now so that you can find out what this actually feels like when you know something to be true. So your energy body will respond, giving you a yes or a no. So the question that you've asked forwards is usually a yes, backwards is usually a no. And so if you've never done this before, I want you to say something like, my name is, say your true name. My name is Louisa Havers. That's what I'd say. So you say your name and then see how that feels as you go forward. Then to say something you know not to be true. So you can see what that feels like. You're likely to go back. The other thing that you can do is to program the, the your, your body to respond by simply saying, I'm just giving you a couple of options here. Yes, 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 yes. And then just notice how your body responds to you saying yes, 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 yes. You're likely to go forward. And then I want you to say, no, 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 no. And you're likely to start going backwards. And then you can also do it with things like your age in terms of saying something you know to be true, something you know to be false in terms of your age, where you live, and just start to see how that feels in your body as you're doing this. Because there's nothing, you're not attached to whether you get a yes or a no. So you can just really allow yourself to, to be with this experience. Now, many people will often say to me, I feel like I'm making it up, <laughs> if that makes sense. So one of the things I invite you to do is to bring your consciousness, your awareness down into your heart center. And the easiest way to do that, so you just get out of your head because the head's kind of going, don't believe in this because it's like, oh no, she's going to find me out what I've been hiding. <laughs> so what you can do is just as you're breathing in for four, breathing out for four, just notice how your lungs go in and out as you're doing this. That brings your attention down to your lungs. It gets you out of your head. And then you can say the, the, the question or the statement so that you can really feel how your body's responding. And as we do this together, the, the key thing is to observe the somatic responses that you have because your body will talk to you. So as you're about to, to start to do this, we're gonna, I've got a series of questions that you can ask. So you can start to see where you may have some, we talked about resistance and reversed energy. So where you may have some resistance or reversed energy in a number of different areas in business that all impact your, your wealth consciousness. And as we do this, I'm just going to speak to what I want you to pay attention to whilst we're doing the, mu the muscle testing. And then I'll put those questions and statements back up on, on the slide for you. So as we're doing this, I really want you to so to go slowly on this and to say the, the phrase out loud, see if you go forwards or backwards and just take a moment to notice, does there feel anything different about my body? Am I noticing any pressure changes, any sensations in my body? Am I getting hot, cold? Am I getting a tingly sensation on the back of my neck? You know, what, what's going on? How is the body responding? or has a memory that you've completely forgotten about suddenly flashed in front of your mind. So as we're doing these, I invite you to make a note of, okay, so have I got a, a yes or a no for each of the statements? How is my body responding? And I'm gonna give you a moment to start to muscle test on these. And then I'll guide you through how we start to, to clear them. Does that sound good? Alrighty, so. Any questions on the on the muscle testing, on the energy testing? Everyone feeling confident with the sway? Got some thumbs up? Okay, that's awesome. Right, I'm gonna put some nice music on for you just to create us some space. So five minutes so that you've got a chance to start to work your way through these phrases and to see where you're holding 
any resistant energy, where you're holding energy reversal. So remember, this is where we may have had an experience that was a shock or a trauma um, or something where we didn't have the coping mechanisms from and our energy's just gone reversed into a reverse state. So let's see what is going on. Okay, so let's put some music on for you. And we'll do this for, for five minutes together. And then I'd love to know in the comments what you find. How is everybody doing? Have you got a few more to muscle test on, to energy test on? Have you found any energy reversals? <laughs> Raise your hand. <laughs> If you've got an energy reversal, okay, we've got some energy reversals in the room. 
Those of you on Facebook, raise your hand if you found some energy reversals. I'm into. Energy reversals are in the house. Okay. Anyone pick up anything around their somatic default set point? Yes to all. Current identity, nervous system at capacity. Yes to all. Okay. What else did you uncover? As you were doing this, did you notice any somatic responses, any changes? Anything like, that's really weird that that memory's just popped into my head. <laughs> like, why, what's that doing there? Anything that surprised you? Or maybe validated that, oh, actually, do you know what? That makes sense. Let us know in the comments. Which ones you've got? So we've got resist resistance, energy reversals, resonance rift, somatic default set points, identity, nervous system at capacity, and resistance to strategies and growing your business. You got some validation? Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Well, let's start to, to clear some of this stuff up. So this is where. Yep, absolutely can. Yeah, so, so the questions come in, can an energy of us be created by not taking action? Yes, because it's how your body's responding to not taking action. You're going to procrastination. Is there fear there because you haven't taken the action? They can create a whole big energetic loop. And was the energy, was there an energy, a hidden energy reversal there that prevented you from taking the action in the first place as well? So there's many layers to this. Alrighty, so now you're clear about what's going on, what we found. Maybe you've got some clarity around what it feels like in your body. Perhaps you've got a picture in your mind. We're going to start to release this, to change the energy, to transmit the energy around this. So we do this by bringing your heart into a coherent energy state. So we do that by breathing in for four, and breathing out for four. So you're bringing your heart into that heart coherence. And then through intention, we say this releasing statement. So it, the framework of it is I'm ready to release or transmute the belief, the thing. I release, transmute, uncreate, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Now, I like to say it out loud once so you can hear your voice saying it and then twice internally. So it's a mixture of inner and outer rewiring. And the reason for doing this is for three times is you're staying with the frequency for sort of about 17 seconds, 17 to 20 seconds. So your body's really feeling it. You're really noticing what's going on as you're holding it and being really intentional with your energy. And when you say it inside your head, it's like you're hearing that voice that goes on all the time in our heads. <laughs> but actually, you're being very intentional with using that voice. Does that make sense? So let's experience this now together. So. Let's do, let's release any energy reversals around preventing you from receiving whatever you want to receive. So if I use the example 100K, just because it's a nice round number, then just swap out the amount that you're wanting to bring in so that it's relevant for you. Does that make sense? So the phrase we're going to say is, I'm ready to release this energetic reversal preventing me from receiving 100K. I release, transmute, uncreate, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Now, I'll say it out loud for all three times so that when you've got your, you know, if you've got your eyes closed and you're saying it inside your head, you don't have to kind of try and read it at the same time as well. So you can just follow along to my voice and I'll I'll say it slowly so you can repeat it in your mind's eye. Alrighty, okay, so let's do this one together and then I'll create some space. You can do a couple more on your own. Alrighty, so just breathing in for four and breathing out for four. So you're bringing your heart into coherence. Start to feel the expansion of your heart chakra. As you give yourself this gift. Breathing in for four. 
breathing out for four. And saying this out loud, I'm ready to release this energetic reversal, preventing me from receiving 100K. I release, transmute, uncreate, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. Then in your head, so I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. I'm ready to release this energetic reversal, preventing me from receiving 100K. I release, transmute, uncreate, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. One more time. I'm ready to release this energetic reversal preventing me from receiving 100K. I release, transmute, uncreate, and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. So just taking a nice deep breath. In and out. Just being aware of how this feels in your body. Again, observing, listening, giving yourself a little body scan and noticing, is your body responding in any way? Any sensations? And then I'm going to invite you to pick another one that you can do right now to take yourself through clearing this. I'll pop some music on so that we can just spend another couple of minutes clearing a few more. Whilst we're in this, in this room together, and then I'm going to guide you through creating a line coherence. I'll just pop the music on so that you can take yourself through transmuting this. Let me know if there's any questions in the in the chat. I'll keep my eye on that for you as well, so I can support you whilst you're here. I've with me. Let's pop some pop some music on.
Notice how this is all feeling in your body. Let's wrap up with the one that you're doing right now. And then make a note of where you've got up to so you can circle back and finish off the ones that you want to, want to clear. I want to guide you through so you know how to, to do this, to be able to, now we've let go and released what no longer is serving, to start to create that aligned coherence. So this is where we're imprinting into our human Wi-Fi, the belief, the thought, the emotion, the experience that actually we want to bring ourselves into resonance with. So again, we're going to bring our heart into that coherent energy state through our breath work. So breathing in for four, breathing out for four really focusing on filling up your heart with love and then when you feel the love in your heart we're going to bring in and command it in with the intention that it's already done so we've I've seen a number of different examples for different amounts of money again if i use the example just 100k just it's a nice round number and then i want you to swap it out with whatever you're bringing in whether it's 300k 500k 10k i've seen all, all sorts of different numbers just swap it out for the one that you you want so our phrase is going to be something like i'm so happy and grateful that i have received 100k and then how would you feel when that's come in so i feel i feel accomplished i feel motivated i feel in flow I'm just suggesting those words you might be like i feel satisfied i feel peace i feel relief I allow this into my being. I choose this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Righty, so we're going to do this one together. And this works so beautifully when you're doing this and you put on instrumental music to really help yourself feel into, into the energy of this, into the words that you're saying. Alrighty, so... And again, we're going to say it out loud once and then twice internally so that you're staying with the frequency of this and really allowing the energy to build. Alrighty, so I'm going to guide you through. So any words that I'm using that don't resonate, just swap them out for words that resonate. Make sure you use the amount of money that you're calling, you're calling in. Okay, so I invite you to breathe in for four. Breathe out for four with the intention that you're bringing your heart into coherence. And start to feel the love in your heart that's there. And now I invite you to expand it. So it can be helpful to think of someone that you love. Feel your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. And then from this space, I'm so happy and grateful. I have received now 100K. I feel so accomplished, motivated and in flow. I allow this into my being across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Notice how this is feeling in your body. And then in your mind's eye, repeating this. You can hear that voice in your head saying this. I'm so happy and grateful. I've received now 100K. I feel so accomplished, motivated and in flow. I allow this into my being. Across all dimensions. Planes, times, and levels of consciousness. One more time. I'm so happy and grateful. I've received now 100K. I feel so accomplished, motivated, and in flow. I allow this into my being. Across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And 
really allowing yourself to stay with this frequency, noticing how much lighter you feel. And from this space, we're going to live in the energy of the question. So this is the question your higher self is asking you from a place of it's already happened like, how do large sums of money come to me easily and eff effortlessly and exponentially? And just invite you to live in the energy of the question. So you're just asking like, how is it this is happening? And then just notice if in this now moment you get any ideas, just jot them down, or perhaps someone's name suddenly pops into your head. Again, just jot it down. Know that because you've activated this frequency in your field, some ideas will come to you now, some will come when you're doing something very human, like driving your car, washing up, going to the loo, having a shower, all those things. That's often when the ideas come in because the conscious mind is kind of, and the subconscious mind is doing the things it's, you know, used to doing. You don't really have to think of. And then this is where you get to take the aligned action. So I invite you, if somebody's name pops into your mind and you're like, why am I suddenly thinking about that person? Call them. You might be being the vehicle for the universe or they might be like going to link you up with somebody that's looking for your services. We might be able to make a referral for someone else. I invite you to take one, one new idea and to implement it today. Let us know in the chat or in the Facebook group when you've done it. But just allow some space now to see if there's any inspired ideas coming to you that you can take action on now. And of course, some may be bigger projects that require a bit more time. Just get get that, make an appointment with yourself in the, in your diary so you can go, right, I'm going to really have a look at this. And I invite you to think about, can you reach out to five people? Five people in your community today, see how they are, ask them how you can help them. Ah, love it. Talk about aligned action. That's beautiful. So just think about five people. Perhaps they're people who have wanted to work with you before and haven't yet. Reach out, see how they're doing. How can you help them? Who haven't you spoken to in a while? Just see whose name pops in as I ask that question. And we've got a bonus action for you today as well. Now we've raised your frequency and started to raise your frequency. I invite you to continue your manifesting tonight. So as you're going to sleep, to use our manifesting in your sleep audio. And I'm going to ask the team if you can pop the manifesting in your sleep audio, which is on YouTube, in the chat and in the comments. And then people can, can grab it there. And to share with us your daily wins as they come through as well. We'll have a, a, a thread to share with you as well so that you can put your aligned actions there. I do invite you to drink lots of water after after today. Thanks, so. So to recap, the six energetic blocks are the resonance rift, the somatic default set points, where the current identity is becoming the block, your nervous system's pinnacle, its capacities at its pinnacle, where we're energetically buffering and where we are the strategy that we're implementing for our business is actually the block, has created the block. And as you can see, they're all, they're all interlinked. Yeah, beautiful. So the aligned actions are to, as you're going to sleep tonight, listen to our manifesting in your sleep uh, audio. We have got a survey for you as well, which I would be very, very grateful if you could complete. So I'll get the team to, to pop that in the in the chat for you as well. Just helps me to, to shape the masterclasses. 
would love you to take a moment to think about, okay, so what is your biggest takeaway from today? And to pop it in the chat, share it in the Facebook group. Share your takeaway from today on your personal profile or in our, you can share it in our free Facebook group. Again, we'll pop your name into the drawer when we see, see you taking action on that. And then I invite you to think about, okay, so on a scale of one to 10, where am I feeling right now in terms of being aligned to my intention? Again, pop that in the comments so I can see that. Awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, writing your takeaway in the in the chat and the comments is really important because it really embeds, embeds your own learning and also other people see it and they'll be like, oh yeah, that really resonates for me as well, connects you with each other. So we've dived into those six energetic blocks and there are some key things that come up underneath those at different stages of your business. We're going to dive into what might be coming up more for you over the next two days. You've received your step-by-step -step guide. If anyone needs a copy of the workbook and you haven't got the haven't got the guide, then let us know. We'll pop the pop it again um, here for you in the chat, so you can use that to find out what what is hidden. We're going to be building on this tomorrow, so we're going to be diving in deeper tomorrow. So you want to be here. We're going to be uncovering the hidden energetic blocks to more sales and how this might be showing up for you at different stages of your business. Who is joining me for that? Lots to allow in. Awesome, I'm so happy this is served. So let me know if you're joining live or on the replay. If anyone needs a replay page, do let me know as well. Um, oh, we've got a page for you, we'll put that link there. And remember to book your energetic alignment audit with me. My diary is getting full. Thank you to everybody who's already booked in. It's awesome to be speaking with you and being able to find out what's going on for you personally so we can tailor tailor this for you and you can really allow what we're covering over the next few days to to you know to see how this is resonating for you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the team, if you can pop the, the replay page um, in the chat in the Zoom room, that'd be helpful. Dai's just requested it. I know many of you may want to may want to revisit it. How oh, beautiful. Miriam's going to be here live tomorrow as well. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. And so Carol's asking for the link for the energetic alignment audit in the Facebook group. So the team, if you could pop that in the Facebook group when you have a moment, it will be there for you, Carol. It's also on the top of the replay page if anyone's looking for the, the link to book the um, energetic alignment audit with me as well. Alrighty. And we will be back tomorrow to dive into what's going on around all of this in relation to sales. Who wants to make some more sales in their business and to be able to make a bigger impact in the world? We're going to dive into all of, all of that tomorrow. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Fantastic. And if you're not in the Facebook group already, we've got all the action going down on, between, all the, between all the sessions there. So you can scan the QR code and that will take you through to the, to the Facebook group as well. All righty. So thank you so much for joining me live and of course on the on the replay as well. It's just a privilege to, to serve you all. I will see you all in the in the DMs and be looking out for your your comments in the in the Facebook group. And we'll be back here same time tomorrow to be diving in deeper to the hidden energetic block to, to more sales. Sending you all lots and lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.